Oh no, the engine overheated. What am I gonna do? Oh, hey there, I'm John Henry, and today I'm searching for one of God's greatest inventions. Or at least I was, before my engine overheated. I guess I'm just gonna have to walk from here. Well, thankfully, the trail's not too far away. So let's start hiking and search for God's creation together. People have invented many useful tools and gadgets to make life easier. But did you know that many of these inventions were actually inspired by animals in nature? That's right, God thought of these inventions first long before people ever made them. I think that is so amazing. Today, I'm looking for a specific animal that has a really cool adaptation that helps it survive. And you know, it's very similar to a product that probably could help me with my car. Well, let's look around this forest and see if we can find the awesome animal. Let's look around and see if we can find one of these animals. Aha, here it is, right here in front of me. It's a gray tree frog. Look at this amazing animal blending into the bark of this tree. You wanna learn more about these awesome frogs? Well, let's hop to it. Gray tree frogs are amphibians that spend most of their adult life living in the trees. I mean, that's why they're called tree frogs. They live all over the Eastern US in swamps and wet forests. You probably won't see these frogs unless you live near a pond or swamp. They hide during the day and come out at night, so most people don't get the chance to observe these amazing amphibians. Even if you did come across one, you might not even spot it. Look at that camouflage. Their skin is perfectly designed to blend into the tree bark where they sleep. Take a closer look at their skin. What do you notice? I see lots of little bumps and lumps, almost like tree bark and their eyes are patterned too. Not only that, but gray tree frogs can actually change the color of their skin. This happens over a period of hours and is caused by temperature, stress, and surroundings. I've seen these frogs turn different shades of gray, brown, white, black, and even green. God really did design these frogs to adapt to their surroundings to stay out of harm's way. Tree frogs are amphibians, just like toads and salamanders. Amphibians are cold-blooded, so they can't warm up by shivering like we can, and they're not able to cool down by sweating either. Their temperature matches their surroundings. Try to remember that. Tree frogs are always the same temperature as their surroundings. Amphibians have smooth skin, no scales, feathers, or hair. They don't have any claws on their toes, and most amphibians go through metamorphosis. They change as they grow. Tree frogs start out as tadpoles living in the water. They eat algae and other plants in their aquatic surroundings. In just one to two months, the tadpoles develop into tiny tree frogs ready to climb lots of trees. What do you think tree frogs like this like to eat? Carrots? Sandwiches? Bugs? Yeah, that's it. Tree frogs love to eat insects of all kinds, but they also have to use their eyes to watch out for predators. All kinds of animals would love to eat a great tree frog like this. Snakes, turtles, raccoons, foxes, fish, birds of many kinds. They'd all love a snack of a great tree frog if they had the chance. Tree frog's best defense is their camouflage. Blending into the bark is the best way, staying hidden. But if a predator does spot them and gets too close, they will jump away and flash those bright yellow legs, startling the would-be predator. Oh man, we've been walking a long time. I think it's time to take a break. Well, God has perfectly designed this animal to adapt and survive. Which reminds me 
I gotta tell you about this super cool invention that helps car engines survive too. So when a car is driving, the engine gets super hot, and if we didn't do anything, it would overheat and stop working. I know what that's like. Well, the easy solution to that is just to run some pipes around the engine and fill them with cold water. But what happens in the winter when it gets super cold outside? The water would freeze, and that would make things worse. Well, car engineers worked hard to find an answer to this problem. Their solution? Antifreeze, a product so simple, the answer is in the name. Engineers added some chemicals to make the water not freeze in cold weather or overheat in hot weather. Ethylene glycol was first used as an automotive antifreeze back in 1926, and it was used a lot by the military in the 1940s during World War II. After that, it became the most popular antifreeze on the market. Antifreeze is used in any car that has an engine, and it keeps cars driving on the road. What a great invention. I definitely need to check the antifreeze in my car. If there's a leak, I need to get that fixed so my engine doesn't overheat again. That wouldn't be cool. Oh, but John Henry, why are you talking about cars and engines when we're supposed to be learning about tree frogs? Oh boy, am I glad you asked. Great tree frogs actually have a similar problem to car engines in the winter. When it gets really cold, their bodies get cold, and these frogs wouldn't be able to survive that. Remember, their temperatures fluctuate with their surroundings. But God gave them a super cool ability that'll help them survive winters and cold weather. Check this out. Gray tree frogs, along with a few other kinds of amphibians, can actually create their own antifreeze. That's right. These frogs can create special chemicals in their liver, which then can go around into their organs and their blood vessels and actually help coat them and protect them from any ice crystals that might form in their blood. I think that is just so cool. Remember, frogs can't warm up like we can, and they don't have extra hats or coats to put on when it gets cold. So as the temperature drops and winter creeps closer, these frogs simply find a little bark to climb under or a hole in a tree, and then they just freeze for the winter. That's right, you heard me correctly. These frogs actually do partially turn to ice. But remember, they're able to survive that because of the antifreeze in their blood. Now, if this were to happen to other animals, they wouldn't be able to live. I mean, if my blood were to start freezing, I wouldn't be able to survive. But God has created these animals with just the right adaptations and just the right abilities to be able to survive through the cold winter. How amazing is that? Our God is so great to be able to design an animal that can survive the winter in such a unique way. When I see the amazing adaptations that God has created in animals, like the great tree frog, I'm reminded about the amazing things that God can do in me. The great tree frog has special chemicals in its body that help it survive harsh winters. And we too can be filled with something that can help us get through tough times. Now, I'm not talking about a chemical that our body makes, and I'm not talking about, you know, antifreeze. No, I'm not talking about a physical substance at all. What I'm thinking about is something that only God can put in us, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in us and helps us make good decisions every day. Maybe you've been trying to make a decision and you've heard a little voice in the back of your head telling you what you know is right. That's one way that the Holy Spirit works, but that's not all the Holy Spirit does. Can I tell you a story about the Holy Spirit from the Bible? Hmm, where's my Bible? Huh, there it is. This story happened after Jesus had died, rose again, and then went to heaven. His followers were trying to figure out what to do next. Jesus had told them to go out and preach the gospel to the whole world, but they didn't really know how to do that. But they did know how to pray. So they prayed at well, I'll tell you what, let's just pick up the story here in Acts chapter 4, verse 31. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were bold when they spoke God's word. Did you catch that? God's people needed help. So they prayed and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. But, but what happened then? That's right, they were filled with courage 
and they started going out and preaching God's word. They started telling everyone the good news that Jesus loves everyone. Do you remember how the tree frog is filled with a chemical that helps it do something that seemed impossible? Well, you and I can be filled with the Holy Spirit and we too can do things that we might think aren't even possible for us to do. Sometimes I feel nervous and scared to do something that I know I need to do. Then I remember that God can fill me with the Holy Spirit and I can do things that are really hard. Do you remember how the tree frog was able to be filled with a chemical that helped it survive the tough winter? And how car engines can be filled with antifreeze and that helps them deal with the overheating of the engine? Well, God has promised to give us the Holy Spirit to fill us with the power to be able to go out and do things that are tough. I want to be filled with God's Holy Spirit, don't you? You know what? All we have to do is ask. How about we ask Jesus right now for some help and to fill us with the Holy Spirit? Dear God, I see your love in the gray tree frog and how you help it survive difficult times. I know you want to do the same for me. So I ask that you please fill me with your Holy Spirit and you fill my friends watching as well. Thank you for always loving and caring for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm so glad that God created the gray tree frog. Its ability to survive throughout the winter is so cool. I love learning about all the awesome animals that God has made, don't you? If you want to learn about another animal that helped inspire helpful tools, then tune in next time for God's Greatest Adventures. Now, where'd that little tree frog hop off to? Hmm.